uh, coming forward again. Flag up. They're off. They get away then. They've got 13 fences to jump here. They begin with a plane and an open ditch down the home straight. And as they run to the first of those, Dunvegan the grey with Gentleman to me in the green colours. Nearest to us, the black, red and white of Fumanbul Sivola. Pink jacket of Grenatine behind those. Here's number two, the first of the open ditches. Shishkin, the yellow sleeves, and Edward Stone is fractionally the back marker as the sextet have cleared the first of the open ditches. The second one will be fence number six. And a run now before the downhill third plane, third fence, and it's gentleman to me has the advantage here by around about a length. The grey horse Dunvegan running in second place. Uh, then Grenatine against the running rails in the pink jacket. Little wide is Fumabil Sivala in black colours. A length off those, the checks of Shishkin and Edward Stone is at the back mark of these six runners. 45 victories between them. They've earned £1.63 million in prize money so far. Looking to add an extra 100000 for the winner here as they run downhill then away towards the far side. Plain fence number three will be the next one. Aidan Coleman on Gentleman to Me has the lead just over length. Pink jacket, Grinatine and Harry Cobden in second. Johnny Burke in red colours on Dunvegan. Level with him, in fact, second and third places. Uh, Firmin Bill Sivella, Charlie Deutsch is next. And then Nico de Boinville on Shishkin. Edward Stone landed a little steeply at number three. Continues with Tom Cannon to be the back marker. Away down the far side they go with Gentleman to me. Only a narrow lead are going to be at number four. Greenatine's only about a neck behind him in second place. Behind those, Fumanbul Sivala just about in third. Quickly they'll move on to fence number five. Yellow sleeves of Shishkin is next, moving up on the inside of Dunvegan as they head to the second and final one of the open ditches. Edward Stone, a length behind those is the back marker. They're all over that one. The water jump roughly halfway. Fence number seven will be their next obstacle. There's only six or seven lengths uh, between first and last, and it is Gentleman to me who shows the green and yellow jacket out in first position narrowly. Greenatine running in second. On the right is Fumanbil Bill Suvela. Uh, Shishkin is hidden by Greenatine at the moment. He's the yellow sleeves. Just get him into clear view. Edward Stone behind those with Dunvegan. Six out, the first of the railway fences. Gentleman to me was a very narrow leader. Greenatine is almost level with him. Fumanbil Bill Suvela continues to be close up with them. Uh, Shishkin is level with him. Edward Stone going the shortest way. Four from the finish. This is the final of the railway fences. They've flown down that back straight. Dunvegan is at the rear of the field and becoming a little outpaced as they begin the long run to three from the finish in this Betfair Tingle Creek. Gentleman to me still has the advantage. Greenatine in the pink jacket continues to be with him and has just about joined him now. Fimanbul Suvela behind those. Shishkin in the yellow sleeves encouraged to get after Greenatine who's taken the lead. Edward Stone right on the heels of these, but only fifth position at the moment. Dunvegan is next. They hit then three fences to go from here. Greenatine in the pink jacket in the center at the pond fence. Shishkin on the right fluffs that one. Hit it on the extreme right. Edward Stone goes past him and takes second place. And round the home turn. Greenatine in front, but Edward Stone has drawn level now. Two plain fences to go. Uh, Grenatine and Edward Stone touch down together. Shishkin is five lengths, six lengths behind them in third and it's Edward Stone who moves down to the final fence now and has begun to power away Tom Cannon, Edward Stone at the last, cleared it well Greenatine a mistake from him in second place Shishkin is in third, it is Edward Stone who heads up the run in now with a 7-8 length advantage, Edward Stone the new star in town wins the bet for Tingle Creek, Greenatine in second, Shishkin is in third place and gentlemen to me a length and a half behind him in fourth Alan King alongside, just debriefing with our very own uh, Jonathan Nisa. Wow, um, that was a, that was some performance. Well done. Yeah, very special. <laughs> Means a lot. Um, what, what were your feelings coming into today? Take, um, taking on the big boys as it was. Well, I was I was more aware of the fact that it was his first run. Okay. You know, and um, and I, I owe Nicky a huge thank you for um, letting me take him to Seven Barrows last week. You know, we got a proper bit of work into him. On the, on the on mile, we, he walked to mile one. It was just to get him away and get a proper blow into him. So I had sent him one case of wine. I'm going to have to send him a second one now. Joe, you know, that's actually that's lovely to hear. You, you know, he knew you were going to be coming here and taking on Shishkin. And, yeah, I mean, and yet he, there, there the two yeah. of you are. 
I said, can Shishkin lead the gallop? He said, you wouldn't see which way he went, you <laughs> see. But um, no, it was very kind. I mean, I took, I, I lead the horse with him, but Nicky gave me one of his best work riders to lead the gallop. Yeah. And Robin Smith, my assistant, who rides, who rides Edmondson every day, he rode him in his bit of work. And it was just what we needed to do, you know. And, mm. But I still thought he'd probably just, whatever he did today, he'd probably come on for it, you know. Yeah. Well great, well, great if he does, because that was... He's a big, heavy horse now, you know, and, I mean, that's why we couldn't risk him on, um, earlier in the year. I mean, I know there's been a, a lot said about it, but, you know, we do know what we're doing with these horses, and I get slightly miffed by some of the comments. Well, you'd, I know you talked about it being such a dry summer, <clears> etc., and your priority is your horse, and, you know, yeah, look, and, it's and, paid and now, isn't fair, it? you know, walking this today, this is the best, nicest ground I have walked all autumn, winter. I mean, this is streets ahead of of Ascot and even Newby last week. This is the nicest ground I've walked all, all, um, all autumn, winter. What were you feeling watching he and where Tom had him on the way around? Oh, perfect. I mean, it, you know, he, was, he was quite keen. Obviously, he's a little bit fresh, but nice position. A little bit of a heart is to beat at the first of the Royal Fences. He got in a bit tight and just pitched on landing. But usually, if you miss the first one slightly, you'll meet the other two very well, which I think he did. And, um, and then he just kept powering away, you know? And do you have an idea of, of where you go here, off the back of this? Well, I had it in the back of my mind that we'd probably go to Kempton for the Desert Orchid, but I'll see, you know. I mean, obviously, working back from the Green Mother, now, whether we go one or two runs, um, the game of spirit will obviously come into it. But um, it's a nice problem to have. But I really just wanted to get today out of the way. And, and, um, I mean, he's exceeding my expectations. It's a bit more than out, out of the way. What an yeah. exceptional two-mile chaser he is. Yeah, and I've... Tingle Creek's one of Tingle, the Tingle Creek's been one of my favourite races. I've been second, I think three times. I, I think Boy Steadies was second a couple of times, and we ran Kumbushwa just to get prize money a few years ago. He finished second behind Sprinter, but to win it is very special. And you know, I don't know if you guys have seen the old sales um, catalogue tonight, but they see Tingle Creek and Steve Smith Eccles on board. It was, and that's when I was falling in love with racing, following those sort of horses. Well, you won it. Well done. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.